the Wellness Hour. An in-depth discussion with today's top physicians and medical leaders. And now, your host, Randy Alvarez. If you're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information, I'm Randy Alvarez. Uh, today's topic, new treatment options for people that are suffering with knee pain. My first guest is an expert on the topic, Dr. Valivas. Dr. Valivas, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Thanks for having uh, me. Now, before we get into today's topic, board certified orthopedic surgeon. Yes. Uh, you're with uh, Desert Orthopedic Group. Uh, work with Eisenhower. Out of Rancho Mirage, okay. California. Yep. I treat hip and knee problems and we like to do a comprehensive treatment plan for people with pains in their hips and their knees. Today we're going to be talking about knees mostly, but we offer non-surgical as well as surgical options for all of our patients. We're trying to get people to feel more comfortable talking to us that we're not just offering surgery, but a comprehensive treatment plan for your knee pain or your hip pain. This new partial knee, they, they say you're the technology guy. You're the uh, kind of pioneered or champion this uh, robotic surgery. Tell so me about Eisenhower that. Eisenhower brought in a robotic uh, technology for the partial knee. It's called the Makoplasty by Mako Surgical. And it's just a new way to do things that's so much better. It's going to treat people at an earlier stage of disease, a much better result, a much more natural feeling knee in the end so that you don't have to be scared about getting that surgery done anymore. Okay, what are the estimates, by the way? Of, I mean, how many knee surgeries, full knee replacements? Right now, in the United States, we're doing about 600,000 total knee replacements a year. And very few percent is the partial knee. Certain surgeons, a lot of younger surgeons, people who like technology, are offering the partial knee. And some are even offering the robotic assisted with the GPS the Mako surgery. Now the people in the know, I understand, go to you for their knee surgery. I mean, you're one of three uh, centers that even there's, do this. There's, Is that three, correct? Cent on the there's West three centers in Southern California and a fourth. So there's four centers in California, three in the Southern California area. And uh, so not everybody's adopting this early, but it is out there and available to you. Not everybody knows about it. But I've had people fly in from far away on their jet planes, bank presidents. They come in for this All technology right. when they hear about it and they know about it. So is this just for the active client? I mean, who, who's attracted to this partial knee? I, I guess it's a new partial knee. Well, the way we do it is new, but the, the partial knee's been around for a long time. Okay. 10, 20 years ago, the partial knee was almost dead. Less than 10% of knee replacements were done with the partial knee. But it's recently gone under a, a resurgence, and it's due to the way we're doing them. It's much more accurate now. Even the mechanical conventional way is better than it used to be. But we can take that one step further by offering the robotic assistance with the you say, surgery. You say things like a GPS uh, robot. I mean, I mean, is it really a guiding? Yeah, the we absolutely do a computer. We hook that up to the patient. Uh, we get a three-dimensional CT scan of that patient, and we create a virtual image of that patient's knee so that no matter how small of an incision the surgeons make, I can see that knee in three dimensions circumferentially from any angle I want to. Uh, it's really a fantastic advance to be able to see everything on the computer screen. Is it true if you wanted to make a mistake, it would be very difficult? Very difficult. Really? This thing prevents mistakes. This is completely patient-specific mapping of that implant to this person's anatomy. We correct the deformity. We take minimal bone in its preparation. We disrupt the soft tissues absolutely minimally to get a perfect aligned knee every time. It feels so much better. The patients really notice the difference, and they tell me. Actually, I've had trouble with my knees, especially my right knee, for a couple of years. And I tried everything. I tried the arthritis drugs, I tried swimming, I tried the series of shots. And everybody kind of looked at me and said, Gene, when the time comes, you're going to know. And I did. The grandchildren would come down. I couldn't take them to the living desert. I couldn't swim anymore. So I talked to Dr. Volivas. He basically told me that he was only going to remove the damaged part of the knee, that the inner part of my knee and the kneecap were fine. So he would just work with the lateral side, which is where the damage was, remove that, resurface the bone, and then put in a small implant, which was probably a quarter of the size of what I had been anticipating. The walking I've really missed, and I am a swimmer. I've been a swimmer for years, and I had even quit swimming because I couldn't do the whip kick anymore, and even the flutter kick hurt. So I was already in the pool today. I was already swimming, and it's the first time I've been able to move my to move my knees without without that kind of pain. Okay, now you're an orthopedic surgeon. You know, anticipating this interview, asked around some people with pains. They said the last person I want to go to is an orthopedic surgeon for now. Evaluation. Right, and unfortunately, I mean, you are thinking that's, surgery, though. Well, it, I'm a surgeon, all... but people have that feeling out there in the public, and I want to try to change that theory because I'm a comprehensive orthopedic surgeon that offers a lot of other things besides surgery. For instance, physical therapy, 
injections, multiple kinds of injections, uh, heel wedges and, and shoe inserts, uh, all other things, non-prescription pain medications, heavy-duty pain medications. We want to keep people active, keep them going, because okay. if you stop being active, it's a vicious cycle. You know, you don't play that round of golf, you don't go for that walk. Uh, your knee hurts, you can't sleep, you feel tired the next day, it's going to make you just feel down. It's going to make you gain weight. It's going to make your heart worse, uh, your muscle strength worse. So people worse. what? The biggest mistake people make is their waiting. Is what? They we do want nothing. them to come in and get an evaluation because they don't need to fear talking to someone. More information is better. You can go All to right. my website. You can learn about it. You can talk to your primary care physician. You can contact a surgeon. Okay, now help me understand. It, 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 we've talked. You, you brought some models. Uh, help define total knee, partial knee, and then what you're doing with the this majority of people, especially men, wait too long. Okay. And their whole knee degenerates, and by the time it, they need surgery, they need a total knee replacement. And that's what we're doing for the majority of cases. We, the whole knee is degenerated. There's bone to bone contact, there's bones. So first, that's what's happening. There's the, pain everywhere. The bones are kind of rubbing right. together. They rub They're together, right. and it's painful, and it hurts. And so when you come to a total knee, we resurface the entire bone that would be covered with cartilage that's now no longer covered with cartilage. Okay. The way we do this is with a relatively large incision. Uh, we resurface the bone with cutting jigs and saw blades. We make it fairly accurate, and it really does work. It takes away the patient's pain. Okay. I heard it doesn't feel very well. Well, the the way. Way. It, it does feel, feel like good, but the downside is we can still do better than that. And but we it doesn't make feel the, like their knee, is that It correct? doesn't feel like That's the knee all the time. And, and what we can do is we offer different things now than we used to in the past that makes them feel like a normal knee, like it feels natural once again. And so we have this partial knee, and where we want to do is we want to get people in earlier, at an earlier stage what of disease. What defines a partial knee, by the way? We're only going to resurface the diseased portion of the knee. We're not going to let that knee degenerate until the entire thing is a goner. Okay. That's years of disability, years of pain. If we get you in earlier, we can just do a smaller surgery. We can do it robotically, very precisely. But the old way, help me understand the difference between the old partial knee and, and, and the new partial right. knee. So the old partial knee was done with mechanical alignment guides, a lot of surgeon eyesight and alignment things, and we do it by putting cutting blocks and making saw blade cuts. So the back side of the bone is cut multiple times with a saw. It requires a little bit of a large insert, larger incision. It doesn't fit exactly right every time. And this is how it's being done nationwide? Nationwide. For the most part. Okay, every yeah, day. Very okay. few centers are offering the next step. So now we add the MAKO surgery, which is robotic assisted with the GPS computer. We can precisely place this implant to correct the patient's deformity through a minimal incision. So it just fits better. It fits much more perfectly. Than the, than much the more standard precise than the standard partial. traditional way of doing it. And I've noticed a big difference in what my patients tell me. What do they say? They're recovering much more fast. They're in and out of the hospital rapidly. Minimal complications, minimal pain medications, and they're back to their activities a lot sooner. Now you've done uh, well over, and this is on the new computer guided. Well over 150. 150 cases. Is it a big thus learning far. curve? There's a learning curve to it, as with any new technology, and I think that's why some of these surgeons aren't really interested in offering it because it takes a little bit of effort. I mean, there's only one guy in the world that has done more than you. Is that correct? Well, I don't want to say how many we've done, but I'm one of the biggest users in the okay. world of this technology, all right, all right. and I think that that shows that as you get more experience, you become better at it. All right. And so uh, that is a big part of what we offer at Eisenhower. Okay, so. Who's a candidate? Let's start there. Okay, so somebody watching this and they, they know who they are if they have knee pain. At what point do they need to get You just evaluated? have to tell people that you don't have to wait to talk to somebody. Because if you come in to talk to your primary care doctor or to an orthopedic surgeon, you're not necessarily just going to be set up for surgery. There's a lot of other options. And just knowing what's coming down the road helps people. They can research it themselves on the internet. They can talk to their friends and family, and they can get some expert advice from a doctor. How does someone get to see a uh, specialist like you? C do, do they check with their primary yeah, care? Yeah, it's very easy. You? you talk to your primary care doctor who you already know. You can go to my website. You can call my office for an appointment So they anytime. can go directly to you? Absolutely directly to me. Yeah, okay. And that's what we would like to see people so come in you, earlier. What do you need, by the way, for the evaluation? Do you need MRI? you need CT? Well, the first thing we start out was an x-ray and a history and a physical exam, and we okay. go from there. There's right. much more things that we can offer with MRIs, CAT scans, therapies, non-operative treatments, injections, and then finally, if everything else fails, surgery. So who is the typical patient? I see young and old. People with knee pain come from all variety of sizes, sporting injuries, uh, just degenerative arthritis that's happened through the years. People often wait too long to come in. 
car accident, trauma, all sorts of things. So you said especially men. I'll, we'll back up. You said uh, that men wait too long. Yeah, I think that they suffer through so the pain a little bit too long, and they're much more willing to say, I'm not going to play that round of golf, but I'm not going to go see a doctor. And that sets up a vicious cycle. They can't sleep at night because their knee aches them. They don't play that round of golf. They don't go for the long walk. They don't go to the gym. People need to go to the gym. They need to stay healthy. It affects everything in their body. It affects their heart, their cardiovascular system. It affects their muscle mass, their osteoporosis level. Everything is you know, helped by having a healthy lifestyle and a good knee. Now tell me about this. Okay, so with the people, okay, so they have some arthritis, they have bone spurs, et cetera. They have this knee pain. Uh, if they do nothing, it just gets worse, and they're headed for what, a full knee replacement? Yeah, I mean, if you wait too long, you're going to end up with a total knee replacement, and that's not bad. That really is a great procedure, but we can do better. We can intervene earlier and get you back to that lifestyle without suffering for decades with pain. You said something very interesting to me on the phone. I, you know, I, I said, who, what do you want people to know? I asked you that question, but I said, who do you want, uh, you know, to, I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the point here? And you said, I want to get people to do something earlier, early Earlier intervention. intervention is key. It's crucial. Okay. We're all about healthy lifestyle nowadays. You feel much better about yourself if you feel good. If you feel like you're in pain, you just don't want to do things. You're going to sit at home and watch the wellness so think, hour instead of getting out there and go to the gym. <laughs> okay. Do you think there's thousands, though, of people in the, Absolutely. In, you know, thousands in the desert of that people, really right, don't have to suffer? That are suffering in pain. Their knees are aching them, and we could probably help them, not necessarily just with surgery, but with other, other modalities. But if it's as good as you say, let's talk about the partial knee. If it's as good as you say it is, why isn't everybody doing it? Why are only well, three it's, centers? There's a big learning curve. The There's South, three centers in, in, South, in, in the Southwest, and, and it takes a, a surgeon to go through that learning curve. You know, we don't get paid any extra for doing this, and it takes a lot of training to get to be an expert in this. And so I believe that this is best for my patients, and I've put the time in. I'm an earlier adopter of technology. I don't fear it. I actually like it. I have an engineering background. I think it's fascinating, and I see the results translated directly to my patients. How is, by the way, because obviously you listen to the feedback from your patients, from the old partial knee and now doing it this way, is it, does it all come down to downtime, or they say it feels better? Yeah, just what everything is, is better. Everything about it is better, especially compared to a total knee, and even compared to my conventional partial knees that I did in the past, their downtime is a lot less. They're back to golfing. They're back to the gym. They're back to tennis. They're back to hiking, vacationing. What about marathons? If you were a runner before you had your partial knee, I do not restrict you from that. I say go back and do really? that marathoning because that's what you love to do. I don't recommend someone who never marathoned before to pick it up after they've had an implant, but nonetheless, we wouldn't say no. Okay, you can do whatever you want to with the, with the idea that if you really use that knee, it could wear out in the future. So with this partial knee, okay, so if you have arthritis or, or a bone spur, it, it can only get worse, I guess, right? Well, you can't put new cartilage back on the end okay. of the bone once it's lost. So by covering lost. that partial area. That's okay. exactly what a knee replacement does. Okay. The diseased bit of the bone, the cartilage is lost, you're rubbing bone to bone, you're creating bone spurs. It's painful. That's where the nerve receptors are is in the bone. Cartilage is a really nice material with no receptors and no pain. So you can resurface just that little bit or the entire area if it's degenerated that badly. Will it prevent though a future knee replacement? Is there any the science studies that? have shown that if you correct and do a partial knee and correct the alignment and put it in precisely that it stops the progression of the disease to a total knee. The studies show that the progression is pretty low. The overall. average age of the patient, I guess, uh, for you is what, about 50, 55? Oh, in our area it's a little bit older, but we do young and old, and I'm trying to convince younger people to not suffer but to come in earlier for an evaluation. They may need not, not need surgery right away, but they are educated, they'll have knowledge, they'll have all their options available to them. And how long will it last? Do they ask you that, by the way? Oh, that's a very common question because everybody wants to know that. They don't want to have to have multiple surgeries. I'll only do a partial knee if I think it's going to last for a long, long time without needing surgery in another couple so of years. So what are the years? I mean, how many and, years? And yeah, we know the data on old stuff. So 80 to 85 to 90 percent last 20 plus years with a partial knee. And what we're doing now is even more accurate and precise with modern implant materials. I think it should last 40 plus years. So what is it made out of? Yeah, the, the femoral component is made out of cobalt chrome. On the tibia is titanium, and in between is a, is a sandwich of polyethylene plastic. All right, okay, so be, because of this robotic surgery, the parts fit better. So Way more accurately than you could do with conventional alignment chip instruments. Way more accurate, okay. yes. There's no comparison. And so they should last longer. You would think that it would last a lot longer. We're going to do those studies. We're going to find out. Well, the old ones but were it's better years. to have it more precise. There's okay. no question that's better to do it well. 
and the old ones were 20 years. So this should last a lifetime. And if somebody's 50, uh, yeah. you know, the hunch may be it'll last 40 years plus. We hope so. They take care of themselves. That's the idea. And, and by uh, correcting that alignment of that knee and making it like it used to be, we hope to stop any further disease progression. Okay, but the, the biggest complaint, I guess, with people with full knee, especially athletes, it just doesn't feel like their own knee. What it's kind of feel? It's not quite natural. The feel. They do well. It takes away pain. It's definitely the gold standard is to do a total knee. But we think that if we intervene earlier, correct that knee, that they won't progress, and it'll feel much more natural. Okay, could somebody go in on a Friday for surgery? And if they have a desk job or they're... Could they go back in on a Monday? I have seen that. Not every case they can do that, but they can walk and drive very early. We walk full weight the day of the surgery, and most people don't need walking assistance very much. They don't need very much in terms of pain medication. We use a little bit of ice, a little bit of Tylenol, and sometimes a little more, but they do great. And so for a desk job, they can go back to work within a week or two almost routinely. Is this one of those things where people get it done? Of course, they live years with pain. And they say, you know, I should have done something about this earlier. The majority of my patients tell me that they wish they had done it earlier. What do they say? Whether it be a total knee or a partial knee. What do they say? They wait too long. People wait to come to the doctor. They perseverate about the uh, decision to have surgery. They don't want to have surgery. Nobody wants surgery. Yes, that's, that's yeah. true. Unfortunately, it does a really good job of curing and, and predictively uh, making them feel so much better. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, more about what people can expect uh, the day of the surgery, and more about the evaluation, how somebody knows if they're a candidate. You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're discussing the latest advancements in knee surgery. We'll be right back. You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, the latest advancements in knee surgery. With us, we have an expert on the topic, board-certified orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Valivas. Okay, so as a recap for the person with knee pain, the old partial knee replacement is not the same as this new. Yeah, the new is much different. It's a completely different way of doing the surgery. It takes a lot of learning curve for the surgeon to learn how to do this, but once you get it down, it's really a fantastic difference. It's much less invasive on the bone. We resect very tiny bits of bone to resurface it to get rid of that bone-to-bone -bone rubbing. We go through smaller incisions and disrupt the soft tissues on the way in a lot less so that the recovery is a lot improved and better. So what are some of the age range of the older patients that qualify for this? Oh, I've done plenty of patients who've been in excess of 90 years old. 90, is that yeah, right? And, and why all... would they want to do it, though, at 90 years old, go through this well, procedure? Well, it's all about quality of life. It really okay. is. Uh, if you just want to do gardening, you want to do some walking, you want to go on a traveling uh, trip to see your grandkid, your great-grandkid, you don't want to get on a plane. You can't sit in a movie because your knee aches. You can't sleep at night. They tell you this, really? Absolutely. And that's what we, f we help fix. And... A partial knee is so much easier to get over than a total knee, you want to treat it earlier. And so I'll do a 90-year-old no problem with a partial knee. Well, for a couple of years I've been having a lot of knee pain and walking. I probably since about 2006. When I walk anywhere, I usually have to use a cane or uh, I kind of hobble. I, I take a cane just for insurance in case my knee gives out. I mean, I have arthritis in my both knees. So uh, I decided, well, I, I got to get something done with this because a friend of mine told me if you live another 10 years, you don't want to be like you are now, so you better get something done. So I decided, I asked my uh, primary care doctor who I should uh, contact, and he suggested uh, Dr. Villavis. And uh, I went in and visited, and he looked at me. We talked a little bit, and I decided... Uh, I had to have it done. I couldn't go on anymore with the pain. What, where would I be now? Yeah. <laughs> Probably just sitting in a chair at home. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be doing very much, I'll tell you that. Because, my, I mean, I, was, I had a lot of pain. A lot of pain from the arthritis. The robotic assist makes it so precise and quick with a good recovery that we've had no trouble with uh, our 90-year-old patient. Are you teaching other doctors uh, how to do this procedure? all the time. People are coming in to observe me doing surgery and I'm going out into the uh, areas of the United States to teach this to other surgeons. Okay, now of all of the, uh, uh, you know, I guess you say 650,000 nationwide total knees. Total knees. Um, how many of those could have been prevented in your opinion? What percentage could have been done with well, this Well in my technology? practice, that's all I can speak to is um, before I got the robotic uh, system, I was doing about 10 percent partial knees, doing the old style thinking, which is what I learned in my residency and in my training. Uh, since I got the robotic system, 
I'm now doing 50% partial knees and 50% total knees. So it's a huge increase in my partial knee, and I think my patients have been appreciative of it, and they loved it. You know, before you had this technology, you were doing partial knee. Why? Because it was less effective, in your opinion? Yeah, I just didn't really believe in the partial knee as much, and I wasn't seeing as big a difference between a total knee and a partial knee. And okay. so that was kind of the way things were going, and that's the way it is nationwide. When you start to expand your horizons, learn about something, take the time to learn it, travel, get trained on it, it takes a big effort, but then you start to change your thinking. It really does benefit the patients, and that's why I've expanded my practice into the partial knee realm much But there's more. a preventive aspect to this. That's right. We that I didn't think about going into this. People at a much earlier stage of disease. We don't want to make them wait and suffer through many years less gym activity, less travel, suffer, suffer, suffer until you need a total knee. We can treat that earlier now because we have confidence it's going to last a long time. Interesting, interesting. So people probably think about their, they live with this knee pain probably for 10 years before they finally do something about it. And That's by right. then it's Some too late. Some people do. And They've I tell you, the vast majority of my patients tell me I waited too long. Whether it's a total knee or partial knee, everybody waits too long because nobody wants surgery. So we offer non-surgical options as well. On day one, what do they want to know? Okay, so they see this, they come in, what do they always want to know? They what want to ask what's my recovery going to be like? So the recovery is like this. On first day after the surgery, within three hours, you're up walking on your new knee. There's no wheelchair involved. You're walking full weight immediately. So the recovery is very quick. You go home the next day after surgery. In fact, I've had a number of patients who have gone home the same day of the surgery, which is remarkable. All right. Um, after that, minimal pain. Uh, some people have more than others, but overall my patients are so much happier with less pain. They feel much more natural earlier with this new surgery. So ideally the, the golfer, how soon before they're out? Yeah, I think that they are chipping and putting within a month and playing a full round of golf at the two to three month mark. I think my average is around two and a half, three months, but I've had plenty of patients do it within one month, which is remarkable. It never what about has stair master or, or a treadmill at the gym? What do you recommend? Yeah, going to the gym is really excellent. We want you to keep your muscles strong, keep that osteoporosis out of your body. So in fact, uh, once you go home, we send a physical therapist to your home to help you exercise and get moving as fast as possible. We recommend you go to the gym, get back to your normal activities, uh, and we do that much faster now with this new surgery. So do they feel like it's their regular knee? Do they tell you that? I, th I think that I've seen a big difference in what patients come back and tell me. It feels a lot more natural. Uh, the recovery is quicker. They feel like they're not limited in any way. And it's, it makes for a more healthy lifestyle overall. Okay, but you are an orthopedic surgeon. I said this early on. Is that the number one fear, you know, going to you and saying, what do you think, doctor? Because, of course, look, everybody always thinks, or at least that's what... Yeah, you know, we always say it, that it comes from patients. You're thinking who, surgery. Yeah, and and they need to know that we are a comprehensive uh, system here that that offers other things: physical therapy, uh, injections, pain medications, shoe wedges, other things that don't involve surgery to help you get over that pain. For those people with chronic pain, despite all the other things, they come to surgery, and that's what I love to do, and that really helps the patient over the long term. Okay, so ask your doctor. So obviously, go to an evaluation with the doctor that does the robotic uh, GPS guided surgery and also does full knee, partial knee. And you want to have somebody who okay. offers comprehensive care all because right. then all your options are available to you, not Good just point. surgery. What about tougher sports like tennis? A lot of twisting, moving. Yeah, because it feels so natural, we have plenty of patients that get back to the tennis game, hiking on uneven surfaces. It takes a little bit longer to do that than a golf game or uh, walking in the shopping mall or on vacation. But there's no restriction against it, and we encourage it. So for some people, they get their life back. I mean, a lot of people, because of their pain, we want them to go back do to work. We want them to go back to the gym. We want them to sleep at night. We want them to be healthy. All right. Men and women, is it mixed? Do women go in sooner? I always hear that, that women will take care of things sooner than well, men. I think in general, men are resistant, but uh, it goes across the board. I think more women have arthritis than men, uh, generally speaking, so we treat more women right now. And we're encouraging all people, men and women, young and old, if you're having an achiness in your knee, there's no reason to suffer in silence. Getting some information from a doctor can be helpful. It's all on your website? Start with the website. Look on the internet. Search it. Look it out. Get some information. Call us up and come and talk and discuss it. We can diagnose you. We can give you your options. Any misconceptions, by the way, out there that you hear as a The main misconception is that it's painful and it doesn't always work. And by having a robotic surgery, we think it works much more consistently and precisely. And we think that we've seen the great results that should 
start to allay the fear of the public against having knee surgery if it's, if it's required. Will they meet with you on a consult? Absolutely. If they want to? Yeah, they always will see me. Now, we're out of time. You, you brought a clip of the, uh, the procedure. What are we looking at? Okay, so what you're looking at is a three-dimensional model of the patient's actual knee. This is specific to that particular patient. You're looking at this green area, and this is what we've determined as required for bone preparation to put this implant on. And you're also looking at a cartoon of the burring tool, which is the actual thing that prepares the bone, slowly taking off the bone to prepare it for that implant perfectly and precisely. So a better fit should last longer, feel better, allow people to really get uh, active again. Yeah, and we've seen the results. They've, they've told me about the differences themselves. Now, in all areas of uh, orthopedic surgery, because you do you know, hip, knee, and everything, is that correct? Yes. Okay, is this the happiest group of patients? Uh, all my patients are happy. I'm a very lucky person to be right. in, in the field of hip and knee surgery. I do minimally invasive uh, hips, minimally invasive total knees, and robotic partial knees. I do arthroscopic surgery. And we're all about lifestyle. We're all, all about right, getting okay. you back to your activities and feeling a lot better about yourself because your knee doesn't hurt you anymore. Okay, good. Get evaluated. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Very interesting. But final message, just what? Go in and Don't get a be consult. scared to talk to a doctor about your knee problems or your hip problems or any other problems that, that bother you because there's a lot of new things out there that you may not know about and it might help you to know about. All right. I, I want to thank you so much for coming to the show. Very interesting. Great topic. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview again or direct a friend to it, you can visit our website at wellnesshour.com. Just click on knee surgery or Dr. Valivas. And for now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.